Welcome to Combatant Wing Chun. I'm Sifu David. Today we're going to talk about a very hot topic of debate, which is can you learn Wing Chun with videos? So you're probably very curious if you can learn Wing Chun at home without a partner, without a teacher, without going to class. If you're thinking about that, then this video, you definitely need to watch it. You need to learn exactly what you can learn and what you can't learn. So let's get started. So the question is, can you learn Wing Chun online through a video course or through a DVD at home? Well, the real question is whether you believe you can. There's a very famous person that says, whether you believe you can or you can't, you are right. Okay, so you're the one who set your own limits in your own mind. Okay, so let's begin with that. But practically speaking, there are things that you can learn on a DVD and you things you can't learn on a DVD. Okay, so I'm not saying that learning from uh, online or through a video is better. There are some ways that is better, but it's some ways that a live class and a live teacher is better. All right, so let's talk about those right now. Now, why do we learn martial arts in the first place? Uh, very basic reason. It's for self-defense, isn't it, right? You want to be able to win a fight. You want to be able to defend yourself against someone who's attacking you. Maybe someone who's stronger than you, someone more aggressive, okay? So what do you need, what attributes, and what things do you need to increase your chances of success, of surviving, of winning a fight? And those are pretty obvious. Uh, maybe not that obvious, but let's talk about some of those right now. Now, are these things that you need? You can say in your mind, yes or no. Do you need power to win the fight? Does that increase your chances of winning or not? Yes. Do you need speed? Yes. Do you need accuracy? Yes. Do you need balance? Yes. Do you need to be have good movement, coordination, stamina, technique? Now, go through the list. Yeah, these are things that will increase your chances of success, right? Like think about it. If you have speed and accuracy, but you hit, you can't hit for nothing, then what's the point? Then you're gonna lose, right? If you have no balance, let's say you're wobbling and somebody pushes you and fall, like not just you and you fall over. If you have power, speed, and accuracy, what's the point? You can't even stay on your feet, okay? So these are things that you need in order to increase your chances of a fight. Now, here's the next question. What, which one of these can you get from a live class? And which one of these can you get from a video? Right? That's the real question, isn't it? Okay. Now let's talk about each one of them. Power. Do you need to have a live instructor to give you power, make you stronger? Probably not. You can just lift weights, right? If you lift weights, wouldn't you be able to get stronger? Okay. Now, obviously, um, that's one way, but what if I can show you specific martial arts training methods that you can do at home to increase your power specifically for martial arts, specifically to increase your punching power, specifically to increase your uh, personal power too. Okay. So do we need a live person, a live class for that? You don't. Speed, can you get faster? Um, do you need a live teacher to make you go become faster? Again, no. It's just, not, just another physical training. All right, there, and there are drills that I can show you, you can do it by yourself that increase your speed. Do you need a live person to teach you accuracy? Not really, right? I'm gonna show you some different other ways in uh, my course, how you can increase your accuracy just by yourself at home. Just more drills that you can do, right? Balance. Do you need a live person? Not really. How about movement? Coordination? Not really. Stamina? No, you just go for a run, right? Just go jogging, okay? Technique. Now here's where it kind of gets in the border. Technique. Do you need a live person to train you how to use a technique? Well, the answer is probably yes and no. Okay. First of all, what technique are you are you learning? Okay. How complicated it is, and um, how well do you learn techniques? How coordinate are you to start with? Okay. Now, if you have some little bit of coordination, a little bit of training before, then it'll be easy for you. All right. But if you have absolutely no physically training, then it may be a little bit more difficult for you to learn a technique. Okay. But can you still learn? 
can you still follow a video? Well, that's how I design a lot of my videos and a lot of my courses is I make it step-by-step -step so easy that even if you don't have um, coordination, that I'll give you coordination through just following the exercises. All right? So, what else? Timing. Well, that's a hard one. Can you learn timing by yourself? Well, most teachers will not know how to teach timing without you being there, okay? But I figured out something that you can do by just following a video to improve your timing, okay? So a lot of these things I figured it out, okay? Sensitivity, that was a hard one, okay? That's the big one, a lot of Wing Chun people said, you cannot learn sensitivity through a video, okay? Um, you can probably learn sensitivity up to a certain point, I would say, okay? There are certain training methods that require you to do sensitivity exercises like Qi Sao, but there's actually ways to increase your sensitivity without using a partner, without having a partner. And then I'm going to show you some of that also. And a lot of that is from other martial arts that, uh, that train this too, okay? Now, what else do you need to learn uh, to uh, improve yourself? In martial arts there's actually more things than just training right there's actually fear management right do we need fear management to be able to uh, be successful in self-defense of course if you're too scared to use your power speed I receive balance movement coordination stamina technique if you're too scared to use any of these things then what's the point of training all these things okay if you freeze and you're overwhelmed if you got ambushed and you in, sh in shock in the middle of the night and you just don't know how to react and you haven't trained to react and to manage your fear, then what's the point of training all these? So yes, you need, don't you think you need fear management to be successful in fight? Yes. Confidence. Do you need confidence? Yes, over the long run, the more confidence you have, then the more successful you become, right? Motivation. Do you think you need motivation um, to be successful in martial arts? Yeah, it helps, doesn't it? Okay, if you don't have motivation, then you probably don't want to train to start with. Okay, how about evaluation? Yes, that's a big one. Okay, so how do you know what you are doing is working? How do you know all these techniques that you're learning actually work? Don't you need some way to test it? Don't you need to be able to be evaluate whether your forms are doing properly, whether your technique, whether your positions are working properly. Well, yes, you need that, don't you? Otherwise, the only person that thinks you're a good fighter is yourself, right? <laughs> so, so let's go back to the second question. Can you learn fear management by yourself? Guys, what do you think? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What's one way of learning fear management by yourself? If you're Batman, you could go into a cave get scared by bats. Sure. Okay. Like Batman in the... Uh, yeah, the of fears. Okay, never mind. Okay, so, well, there's a form of meditation that you can learn to overcome your fears. Okay? Because where is fear? Is it external or internal? Internal. Internal. So, it starts from external, but then you don't have fear unless it's, it's, it, it affects you internally, right? So if you can control what's internal, then you don't have fear, okay? Do you need someone else to teach you what's internal? Not necessarily, you can learn yourself, right? So, all else, confidence, motivation, those things are also external or internal. Those are internal, aren't they, okay? So, these are things that you can learn with some mental exercises, okay, that you will uh, also learn, that I also teach, okay? And the last thing, evaluation. How can you get evaluation from a video? Uh, well, one way is if the video is showing you exactly how you should do something, and you can look in the mirror and it looks the same way, then is that a good way of evaluating? Well, at least there's a certain, there's a, at least it evaluates you up to a certain point, right? But yeah, that's one way of evaluating. What else can you evaluate? Well, let's say that there are um, 
outside of a video that somebody watches your video that you make of yourself, do you think that they can evaluate or a teacher can evaluate um, what you're doing, whether you're doing it right or not? Yes, of course, because they can see what you're doing, right? So, so I'll let you answer for yourself. Can you learn Wing Chun from videos, from a DVD? Okay? Yeah, some things may not, they have limits. They have a limit, okay? But do you need to have a live person to train? Probably not. Especially if you don't have a choice. There is no one to train with, right? What are your choices, okay? So, you may think that, oh yeah, a live class is better. Yeah, if you can find a really good live class with a really knowledgeable and helpful um, and forthwith um, teacher, then by all means, go to that class and learn as much as you can from, from them. All right, but what other factors come into live classes? Well, you have to consider, there's a lot of martial arts teachers that um, do not give you all their stuff, right? They'll hold things back. Um, how do you know that your martial arts teacher that you find is not doing that? Okay, how do you know that your martial arts teacher has high enough skill? What if he has low skill? Or even if he has high skill, how do you know that he or she is able to impart his knowledge and his techniques to you? And you know what? There's a lot of really good martial artists, really, really skilled, but they're shit teachers, okay? And you cannot deal with them, all right? You don't want to basically learn from them because they just have bad attitudes and they just don't know how to teach, right? There's that too. And what else? How about um, other people in the schools, all right? There are many schools that just are bad environments. You don't want to be there. Uh, maybe there's people there that just have bad attitudes. They have, you know, overinflated egos. You know, I've been in some of those schools. And yeah, trust me, you do not want to be associating with people like that unless you really want to have a hard, give yourself a hard time. Okay, so those are other factors you have to consider about high classes. All right, so what's the bottom line? The bottom line is, are you the right student? All right, because I can give you all the training materials in the world. I can give you the best training available online, offline. You can go to the best class, you can find the best teacher. But if you are a shitty student, all right, if you don't have the right attitude, if you don't have the right self-discipline, if you don't have the right desire and passion to learn martial arts or Wing Chun or whatever martial arts you want to learn, then it doesn't matter whether you watch DVDs or go to a class. You're not going to be a good martial artist. You're not going to be a good Wing Chun practitioner. Okay? So it's really up to you. So that's where you're here saying, when the student is ready, then the teacher will appear. Okay? So the question is, are you ready to learn? And whether you are ready or not will determine whether you can learn from a DVD, whether you can learn from just a book. Because think about it. All the ancient Kung Fu people, do they have videos back then? No, they don't. How do they learn martial arts? They have these manuals with little tiny stick figures and little little scribbles of, of notes. That's how they learn Kung Fu. And that's how they master it. That's what they get. But today, we have videos, we have you know, real time and all this, all this like, we have millions of videos on YouTube that you can learn from. So, it, you know, it's not what the instructional material is. It's really you. Are you one who are passionate enough, who have the desire to learn? That is the question. Now, let me end with this. There was an experiment done many years ago uh, where they had two groups of people um, and they were going to learn how to shoot a basketball in a hoop, okay? So group one, they would train physically, go to basketball court every day and shoot hoops every day for eight hours a day or maybe four hours a day, I don't know how long, but they practice every day for one month, okay? Group two, they would not touch a basketball. They would not go to any basketball court. They would just, in their mind, imagine themselves shooting the basketball into the hoop, in their mind, and they would just watch videos of people shooting basketballs in the hoop. Now, one month later, they got back together, went to the basketball court, court and then they shot hoops. Now, who, which group do you think scored the most? Do you think group one, the ones that physically practice basketball, or group two, the ones that um, just practice in their mind and never touch the basketball? Well, you know what? Group one scored better. But you know what? Group two scored 
as much as group one. All right, so that's a science tip, science experiment. It's been done, it's recorded. So that's the facts, okay? So can you learn by just watching something without even doing it? Well, maybe not as good as doing it, but 95% is good. That's not bad, right? What do you think? Okay, pretty good. that's pretty good, okay? So I hope that makes sense to you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them on this channel. Um, by the way, I have a free DVD. That's why we're doing this. We have a free DVD on Wing Chun. It's called Wing Chun 101. Uh, you can grab it right now. Just click on the link. You just pay shipping and I'll get that to you within a, about a week or so. Maybe two weeks if you're international. Um, so just grab it. There's limited copies. Go ahead and get your copy right now and subscribe to this channel and we'll see you soon in the next video.